Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my lovely Little Sisters makeup um, and we're going to be going for a nice glowy base with a matte eye. So to start I'm just using Softening Lotion from MAC. This is an amazing product to prep the skin with. It's got salicylic acid in it so it really helps to clean the skin and soften any little dry bits um, ready for foundation. Then I just added some eye cream under her eyes. This is actually an e.l.f. one, um, really cheap from Superdrug, but it does the trick in hydrating the area and prepping for concealer. Then I went in with some Bobbi Brown Vitamin Rich Face Base. Um, this is great for moisturising and for priming at the same time. Um, it's really nice and thick and it smells divine. Then I went in with my favourite thing to use for brows, it's the Got To Be Glued Gel. I think most people are on this hype now. Um, but I literally just run this through the brow with a um, clean mascara wand. Um, the trick with this is you kind of want to brush it through the hairs and let them dry for like 10 to 20 seconds and then go over with the end of the mascara wand or spoolie, whatever you want to call it, and flatten the hairs so they stick down. Um, to the forehead to give them that like laminated effect. Um, I like doing this before I put the product in just so it allows me to see where I actually need to fill in but you can do it after. Do whatever you want honey. Here I'm just taking some Tarte Shape Tape Concealer all over her eyelid just to prep for the eyeshadow. I'm using a fluffy brush and I'm not carving out her eyebrow. Um, I wanted a more natural look to the eyebrow so I am not carving it out. I also like to take this immediately under the eye as well, just to prep for the lower lash line. So moving on to eyeshadow, I am just taking the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Medium Tan. Um, taking that on a 217 brush by MAC also and just running that through the crease. This is actually the bronzer colour that I will use on Lucy. Um, so I quite like to start with this as the crease colour just so everything is nice and blended and kind of monochromatic, is that the word? You know what I mean, just so it all kind of complements each other. I'm then taking the shade Slow Burn from the Stacey Marie Be Perfect Carnival 2 palette. Um, it's just like a nice warm orangey brownie shade and I'm starting that on the outer corner of Lucy's eye and just slowly working it into the crease. I don't want this colour to be like really bright and impactful, just a soft wash. So as you can see now, I'm just taking that original brush that I used for the concealer um, to prep her eyelid and I'm actually just putting some more on the eyelid just to create a really, really soft cut crease. I don't actually want a cut. Um, I just want to bring light to the lid and then I'm just going back in with the original eyeshadow brush just to blend it and make sure that there isn't that cut. Then I took Charlotte Tilbury, uh, what's this called, Airbrush Flawless Powder um, in the shade Medium and I actually use this as an eyeshadow. Um, it's a really, really nice kind of yellowy skin colour. Um, so I just patted this on and got it kind of to like the brightness that I wanted. And then I think I actually went over just with a bit of a lighter eyeshadow just to brighten it a little bit and take the yellowness away. And then I'm just going back in with that slow burn colour um, from the Stacey Marie Carnival palette just to blend the edges um, and yeah, kind of re-intensify that colour because I lost it a little bit. Okay, so I'm an idiot and thought that I actually pressed record when I was doing this wing and I did not. But anyway, I'm using a paint pot actually from MAC in the colour It's Fabstract. It's like a really nice chocolatey dark brown. And I'm just using that on an angled brush to create a little wing on loose and then I am blending it out with a flat brush. I am using an eyeshadow um, just to help me blend this out and then I actually switched to a MAC 239 brush just because it's a little bit softer and I was getting a better blend with that one. Okay, here I noticed that the very, very corner of the wing wasn't quite connecting to her eye. Um, I wouldn't usually pull the skin tight um, but for this I just had to just be able to get right in that inner corner. Then I just took that shade Slow Burner and a little bit of the mineralized skin finish from MAC on a 239 brush and just smudged it on her lower lash line. I didn't want a lot of color, um, so I just used a tiny little bit of each one. So 
so here I mixed my favorite ever foundation. This is the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation. I used the shade Siberia, I think is the lightest color. And then I mixed a tiny little bit of Valencia in. Um, I also used way too much. I never ever use this much foundation. I think it's because I got carried away with mixing a color for Lucy that I just used loads. So guys, do not put this much foundation on. There's just no need. But anyway, this foundation is absolutely stunning. As you can see, um, it's just going on so smooth on Lucy's skin. It's like a, it is radiant, but it's not really dewy and wet looking. It's just healthy looking. It's my absolute favorite. Okay, so moving on to concealer here i was using the l'oreal infallible concealer in the shade ivory i think it was this concealer is unreal such a good dupe for shape tape and i'm actually using this with a mac 240 brush my absolute favorite brush for concealer it's so nice and fluffy and just makes it really really easy to blend out Isn't concealer just the most satisfying part to watch? Oh, I love it so much. So I popped a little bit of that concealer just through the center of her face, on her chin, um, down her nose and between her eyebrows and just buffed out any edges. I then went in with my Refi uh, cream bronzer in the shade sand I think this was it's their lightest shade um, guys this product is absolutely beautiful it's so nice and balmy blends like a dream and the lightest shade is really 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 great on a fair skin tone guys if there is a product that you need to buy this year it's the made by mitchell blushes absolutely unreal i'm using the shade peach sugar here um i will warn you with these they are very pigmented so you only need a tiny little bit as you can see i literally just put a few dots on and then went back in where i thought i needed it more um but these are absolutely stunning on the skin um yeah you need them Now I'm just going in with that mineralized skin finish by MAC in the shade medium tan and just adding this to the very, very edge of her eyeshadow just to blend it into the temple. And then I'm going in, in with that bronzer on top of where I put all the cream um, bronzer before. This is just to set it, take a little bit of the shine off um, and yeah, just make it look a bit more pigmented than it was. So I'm just buffing out the under eye just to make sure there is no creases and that everything's blended out. And then I'm going in with my OG favorite powder. I can't believe I even strayed from this powder. And this is the RCMA translucent powder. This is just such a beaut powder. Like I said, I can't believe that I strayed away from it. It's absolutely no color at all. Blurs the under eye, photographs, stunning. What more could you ask for guys? So here I'm just adding a little bit more of that powder bronzer into the front of the brow and dragging it down the side of the nose. I didn't really want to contour, I just more wanted to add a little bit of colour to her nose. Good old spray of MAC Fix Plus just to get rid of any powders that might have been sat on top of the skin. 
Then I went in with the MAC Eyebrow Styler in the shade Stylized. This is a really great pencil um, to create that feathered look. It's got a really nice fine tip. And this colour Stylized is really great for blonde hair because it's quite like an ashy brown. It's not got any red in it at all. But yeah, just flicking that through the front of her brow just to mimic the hairs. Then I took this Morphe Blush Trio. I believe this is Pop of Peach, I think it's called, a Pop of Coral. Um, I'm actually not sure if these are still a product or if they're discontinued, but they are lovely. I literally just kind of mash all three colors together and pop it on the cheeks, cheek, the cheeks, the cheeks, just to re-intensify um, that cream blush that I popped down. Next, I used the Morphe Powder Highlighter in the shade Sparkler. I was really surprised with this product. I hadn't used it before and I'll definitely be using it more often. It's a powder, but it gives a really creamy finish um, and looked really kind of dewy on the skin as, a pow uh, as opposed to powder. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend getting this. Then on to lashes, um, I was using the Kiss individual lashes for this look. I absolutely love using individuals um, just because it gives a more kind of flirty look. You have a bit more control. Um, the only thing is it takes a little bit longer. But yeah, mainly focusing these on the outer corner of her eye um, and then putting a few in the middle just so that they blend in. As you can see here, I'm just using the lash applicator just to push the skin down onto the lashes so that it kind of sticks to the glue and hides where the lash meets the skin. Then I'm just popping on a bit of MAC in Extreme Dimension Mascara just to stick her real lashes to the false ones. I'm also adding this on her bottom lashes as well. So moving on to our last feature on her face, I'm just lining her lips with Morphe Sweet Tea Lip Liner. This is very, very close to MAC Strip Down. It's just a nice kind of, I don't know, neutral brown shade that isn't too dark. Then I just went round her lips with a small concealer brush, just with a tiny bit of foundation on it, and that was just to clean up the edge of the lip and make sure that the liner is nice and sharp. I prefer using foundation for this, just so that it doesn't leave like a white cast around the lip. A very important part about doing someone's lip liner, make sure that you get right in the corners of their mouth so that when they smile, the lip liner goes all the way around. Then I'm using that same blush from Made by Mitchell on the lip in the shade, what was it, Peach Sugar. I'm using this with a nice fluffy brush just to diffuse it on the lip. Um, these products, these blushes, sorry, are really, really, really lovely on the lip as well. They're very long wearing and they're nice and smooth. Then lastly, I'm going in with this Maybelline gloss. Um, this is the shade Topaz, and I believe it is the dupe for the Fenty Gloss Bomb um, in the shade, what's the original one, Fenty Glow. Um, and I agree, it's literally exactly the same. Same texture, same color for like more than half the price probably. So go get it, sis. Then I just used the eyebrow pencil to fill in her little freckle and give her a spritz of Fix Plus and we're all finished. And that's it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Obviously I haven't actually done a model on my channel before. I really enjoyed doing it. So let me know if you'd like to see more and what kind of looks you'd like. Um, but yeah, please subscribe and until next time, peace out.